What's up, guys? Welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Okay, so wow. today's topic is about Filmora 13. This is a quick start guide for beginners who don't know anything about Filmora and you want to learn Filmora, learn how to edit video using Filmora 13. And this is the video for you. Okay, so my name is Jackie. I'm from Vietnam. I've been teaching Filmora for about six years. If you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. And I also do some tutorial for other software too. Okay, and if you want to try Filmora 13, just go to their website filmora.wondershare.com or you want to go to the link in the description to download it. It is free to download and install on your computer and it is available for both Windows and Mac OS. By the way, if you want to export your project, you need to purchase a license of Filmora and I have 20% discount coupon code in the description for you also. Okay, and this is the pricing plan of Filmora. They have different plans for individuals, team and business, education and bundles. They have subscription plan which is yearly subscription and it is around 50 US dollar. And they have cross-platform plan meaning that if you purchase a license you can use it on Windows, Mac OS and Android, iPhone and stuff like that and it is 70 US dollar per year. And they have prepared to a plan here, which is around 80 US dollar, one time payment. All right, so let's open Filmora 13 now. Okay, and this is a start page of Filmora 13, and it is the same in comparison with Filmora 12 and Filmora 11. So it is a small window. On the right side, you have your account center and also the download center, and you have some more button here for the support and also a word or stuff like that. And on the left side, you have a button to create a new project and Filmora Cloud, which is the, the server of Wondershare. If you purchase the license of Filmora, you will have one gigabyte free for Filmora Cloud. And here's the Creator Hub where you can find all the tutorial about Filmora. And you can also find my name here also. If you type here, Jackie, okay, so this is my name, Jackie Nguyen, and you can search for it. All right, so let's click this button to create a new project. So first thing first, if you want to start a new project using Filmora 13, you want to select the aspect ratio first. For normal YouTube video, we can select 16 by 9 aspect ratio right here. By the way, if you want to create short video, Instagram video, TikTok video, you can select 9 by 16, 1 by 1, or stuff like that. So here's the aspect ratio. You want to select, for example, I can select a YouTube video with 16 by 9 wide screen. Okay, next step, you want to click here new project to go to the editing interface by the way there are many functions of the program right here you can take a look for example silent detection avatar presentation ai copywriting and instant cutter stuff like that but in this video i will not mention all the feature of the program because otherwise it will take forever okay and down here you have your recent project with a local project and instant mode project and stuff like that by the way if you are new to filmora you don't have this local project or stuff like that okay and now we can just click here to create a new project so this is the user interface of filmora 13 and you can see here on the right side we have some button with your account center and also some support things or stuff like that but you don't need to care about that okay the only button here is the layout mode if you want to change the layout mode for example you want to create short video tiktok video or color grading for this or stuff like that you can click here at the layout mode and change it normally it would be the default layout but i i would refer the classic layout okay so this is the classic layout if you don't see the same interface like me you can just click here at the classic layout Right, so here on the right side, you have the preview window of the video, image, anything you put on the timeline will be displayed here. And on the left side of the window are eight important folder of Filmora 13. Here's a media library where you can import your video, image, music, and sound effect and stuff like that into the software for further editing. And here you have the stock media where you can download video, image, and stuff like that from other, other party like Pixabay, Pixabay, Pixel, Jiffy, Unplugged, and their own library, okay? So you can use all this stuff for this, for B-roll or cap video if you want to, okay? And next up, you have the audio folder. So here, they will store all the music from Wondershare and sound effect and also the AI music. So this is a new function in Filmora 13 where you can use to create your own music using AI. By the way, just be careful when you use 
this music in your video if you upload it to YouTube Instagram or TikTok because sometimes you will get copyright claims from other party okay and next up is the title folder so this is the folder where you can find all the template and all the the thing related to text in Filmora for example you can find trending so this is a template with the title the text inside and then a preset inside you can just download it and drag and drop it onto a timeline to display it here for example i can drag and drop this title onto a timeline okay so there are many title templates you can use in filmora okay nice right and you have the pinky diamond button here this is the page plan of film stock so if you purchase a license you are not able to use the title okay so next up you have the transition so if you want to add transition to your video it is very simple in Filmora just go to the transition tab here and you find basic and zoom and popular speed blur so many transition all of them are built in Filmora you can just drag and drop them onto a timeline for example this one this one it is a simple role 11 okay you can just drag and drop transition to the title here you see the transition it is simple role so that's nice right and next up you have the effect where you can find many video effect here shake and glitch ai portrait or stuff like that and filter so you have many filter basic mono and instagram by the way they also have pinky diamond button icon here okay added to that you also have the audio effect here and some professional effect also you want to find an effect for your video or for your audio you want to click here at the effect tab okay and next up is the stickers here you can have all the overlay for your video like the arrow social media with the subscribe button and like and many things emoji and arrow valentine day stuff like that so if you want to overlay anything you want to go to sticker and finally we have the template folder okay so the template folder we have the split screen folders there are many split screen template right here and also template for your project if you want to create a new project using template it is very simple just drag and drop it onto the timeline and then you can replace the media inside the template all right but i'm not going to show you how to to use the template in this video because otherwise it will take forever okay so let's close it one all right and the last part of the program is the timeline with Filmora 13 you have the timeline here at the bottom and you have many tracks here you can add up to 100 video track and audio track and also when you select anything on the timeline you have all the function button here where you can just select the selection tools and quick split mode and you can undo and you can delete the object here you can cut the object and you can add text to your video here and you can crop the video crop the image right here with this button and you can straight out the audio you can adjust the color you can use the chroma key function all this button will be available when you select anything on the timeline and you can zoom in and zoom out the timeline also with this button and on the right side you have some more button for example you can record your voiceover with this button okay and you can also record your computer screen and you come back to the media folder and you can press the record button that would be webcam recording pc screen recording and voiceover recording okay so that's simple right and if you want to import your video into filmora for further editing it is also very simple let's delete the title tab here you need to go back to your media and then you can just click this button to import your media or you can just drag and drop the media from your computer to the program to this area okay for example i can click here and i can import this video and you can do the same for the music and audio and image or stuff like that okay it asked me to create a proxy file by the way i don't want to create proxy okay so just click no and now you want to preview the media here you can just double click at the media hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you nice right and if you want to put it on the timeline you can just click here and drag and drop it onto a timeline or you can just click and hold your mouse and drag and drop it onto a timeline like this okay and keep the project setting that's nice right and you can play the video you can hit the spray bar button or you can hit this button to play the video hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to today we are 
okay and if you want to split the video just click this button to split the video easy right and you if you want to delete the video just select the video on the timeline and hit the delete button or you can split the video right here and select it and you can select this button this is the chat button to delete it that's easy right and you can click the video here on the timeline and move it along the timeline okay so anything here on the timeline will be displayed here at the preview window this is an empty area so you don't have anything just a black one okay into the diving okay that is how to split and delete the video and if you want to crop the video for example you can just select the video here and then you can select this button to crop the video okay and select the ratio here 16 by 9 and you can adjust the crop area like this very simple right and click apply so by doing that you crop the video okay we're diving diving nice right and you can also speed up and slow down the video easily using Filmora. you can just select the video here on the timeline and then you can select this button this is the speed button select it and uniform speed okay and now you have a new window this is the property of the video okay and you can just click here and drag it to the right to speed up your video something like this okay and then you can play that's simple right and there are many functions right here for example speed function uh, color match function and this is the ai matching tools uh, to remove the background your video ai portrait and smart cut out for removing the background of the video also and we have the duration property and keyframe button take to speed and speed to text and also drawing tools so so there are so many button here so many features here by the way i will make short tutorial for each function here on this channel so just be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss them okay now i'm going to just split the video and add some simple text and transition between video also show you how to do the color grading so stuff in Filmora 13 i think it's better okay so let's click ok and let's delete the speed here I'll go back to normal okay and for example i split the video right here and then i split right here and i delete this punk this part and let's go back to normal with the okay so this is a crop area and this is normal clip and now i want to add transition between the clip here all i need to do is to go to transition for example i can select this one box turn number two just drag and drop it onto the timeline okay so it's super easy and here's the transition to the world of color grading and i'm going to show you how to okay. achieve and you can control the duration of the transition with this button okay just click here and shorten the duration of the transition so this is color transition color and i'm going to show you how to nice right and what if i want to add a lower third or title to this video it is also very simple just go to title and select lower third right here and i'm going to select this one just right and drop it on top of your video to achieve stunning result okay and then i can just double click here to replace the text so subscribe please nice right stunning result and this is how to add title and now if i want to add a special effect to my video for example i want to apply a lot to my video it is also super easy just go to the effect tab and select filter okay for example i can select the two and orange harry potter i'm sorry uh, let's select this option harry potter okay just try and drop it right here and then extend it to the duration of the video okay and something will look like this color grading and i'm going to show you how to achieve and you can adjust the filter okay just double click at harry potter and reduce the opacity and also we want to protect the skin tone so we want to increase the skin tone protection and adjust the opacity of the filter again okay very nice right and let's click okay stunning results stunning results super easy and what if i want to add a subscribe button or stuff like that i want to go to here at this sticker okay and we can find social media okay and then find okay so this is a subscribe button very nice just drag and drop it here onto the timeline okay 
and I'm going to show and we want to adjust the position of the subscribe button also we want to make it smaller okay so I think I can put it right here all right and I'm going to show you how to achieve stunning results using Fimoa 13. That's nice, right? By the way, sometimes you want to add background music and edit your audio also. So it is very simple to do it in Fimoa. For example, I can go back to my media and then I can import a music file. Okay. And okay. So this is the music file. I can just click open and then I can just put the music file here. And the audio track here and we can play the video and if we want to emphasize our voiceover we can just double click at the video again and select audio and then we want to enable the audio ducking feature okay and select 60 for my voice and let's click OK that's nice right Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are diving into the... Okay, wait a second. So when I editing my video, I can see that the tutorial is too long now. So I think we should stop the tutorial right now because it's more than 15 minutes and it is not good for beginners who learn so much information about the software. So next time you will learn some advanced features of the software like motion tracking, keyframing, color grading and editing audio and masking tools and also some, some kind of AI feature in the program. So that would be a lot better for you. At the end of this tutorial, I will show you how to export your project to final result. That's all for today's video. Okay, so let's come back to the tutorial. Okay, and now what if you finish your project and you want to export your project and upload it to YouTube or TikTok or stuff like that. So it is very simple. Just click here at the export button and be sure to log into your account here. Okay, and just click the export button and they have different export option for you. For example, we can select local and then we can put a name here, demo number one. And you can select the option here to save your project. And we want to change the format to MP4. Okay, MP4 and go to setting and increase the bitrate to 20,000 kbps. Okay, and for the bitrate mode, you can select variable bitrate or constant bitrate. It's up to you and click apply. And now we want to export the video all right so that is how to edit video in filmora 13 i hope this video is helpful for you and if you want to learn more about filmora 13 don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you like the video just hit the like button and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye